when Pokemon Sword and Shield come out, half of Pokemon will still exist. Perfectly balanced, as all things should be. Let's make sense of that. What's up, everybody? This is Nerds Made Sense, and I am Ted, and I'm with... I'm Josh. And there's no manual today. He got busy. He got snapped. <laughs> he got snapped like the rest of the freaking Pokemon in this game. But, um, yeah, Manuel was supposed to be here. Like I said in my video, I posted out, I don't know, was it Thursday? I don't know. I posted it some days last week. But um, Manuel had to do something. He apologizes to everybody. He'll be on the next one. Yeah, but, but unfortunately, just, we couldn't put this video off. Yeah, we had to put up something. So, so show must go on. <laughs> but, so we're going to talk about Pokemon Sword and Show. We're going to talk about everything that we've heard from the past two weeks, I think. Weeks. Yeah, there's been a lot in the last couple of weeks. And for, for future, we will not put any leaked Pokemon pictures in this video. Yeah, no. no we will we talk about them. Oh, yeah. But we can't because they're over here taking down everybody. <laughs> yeah, and that's the last. I mean, we... We, we have, we've had one video get striked, and we got lucky in winning that one. Yeah, so... So, uh, we're not going to take any chances here. But we will talk about it. But, yeah. first of all, what I want to bring up is that... How would I, I don't know how to exactly word it, but... Basically, there was a thing I read online. I forgot where it's from, but they talk about the morale... At the Pokemon at Game Freak is kind of low right now because the way they set to release this game is that they weren't going to give us anything that they didn't want to give us. Right. Compared to Sun and Moon, three month, three or four months in real time as this is going up, three or four months ago, the whole Pokedex for Sun and Moon was leaked. Yeah, pretty much. There was nothing to hide. We knew the story. We knew the villains. We knew the legendaries. <laughs> now... Coming into Sword and Shield, you got a little bit. We until until someone actually got the hard copy of the game and started leaking out the information. They that were actually doing a good job yes. in doing what they said they were going to do. I'm pretty sure. I'm still pretty sure. I mean, the game comes out what in six days? When we, well, yeah. well, five days when we upload this. Yeah. And we still haven't seen the starter finally. Any evolutions of the starters? We only seen what was it? it Will be Surfetched and. Ponyta, Weezing, and Zigzagoon. That's, yeah, not Zigzagoon. What, yeah, well, Zigzagoon. We saw, we saw Zigzagoon. Well, yeah, that was Oster the first Goon. one yeah, we those, saw. I think there's only four Galarian forms we've seen. Yeah. Um, just a couple of trailers of gameplay. A couple of new Pokemon. <coughs> and they did such a good job. And then about a week ago, someone got the hard copy and then they started leaking everything. Yeah. But, so... They did such a good job, and now they're like, all right, we're almost there. We're almost there. And then all of a sudden, this happened. Supposedly, they found the guy who did it, so that guy's in trouble. Oh, I'm bet. I <laughs> but, bet. He's probably going to get... The, just that Game Freak, the morale, is just like... it's just, They're down, because they, they worked so hard for it, and now it's just all gone. And I can't help... I didn't look at any of the spoilers for the story. I stayed clear. I just need to see the Pokemon. Yeah, I did too. I, had, I wanted to see the Pokemon, but... And then there's still people out there who is like... Because, I, I mean, they're, seeing the Pokemon early is not going to spoil the story. Yeah, it's not. It's, it's not. really not. So there's people out there who are still, like, bad in the game. They're blaming, you know, the producers and creators and whatnot. So they're kind of down, which I, which I feel like it's not... Like, it's not cool to make fun of it. If you don't want the game, and if you've barely seen anything and you don't <laughs> like it, don't buy it. Just simple as that. But pretty much... All these people who are crying and complaining are still going to buy it. So I don't know what the whole point of that is. Yeah. So I just wanted to talk about that. And then they had like the thank you Game Freak thing all over. I tweeted about it. The thank you Game Freak that's on Twitter. And then everyone's like thanking them for everything. Sort of helping them cheer them up and whatnot. Going over, you know, everything they experienced with Pokemon over the years. But, yeah. So I just want to talk about that. that. It's just messed up that you guys are doing this to these people who worked hard. And sucks. unfortunately, that's the that's the way that social media is nowadays. Yeah, unfortunately, it's a little toxic. It, it, it is. It it is far too toxic for its own good. And I mean, I don't want to go into a whole debate on that. Yeah. No, I just, I, I mean, 
It's just crazy. That's the world. Like, it's fine to have your own opinion, but I mean, I, I know my parents taught me this little thing. They, they they always taught me that if you don't have anything nice to say, don't say it at all. Don't say it at all. Yeah, dude. Like, why you know, the game's not even out, and people are like, "This game there's sucks." A, there's a <laughs> yeah, there's a difference between criticizing and just being plain rude. Yeah. You know, it, you know when you sit there and you you put somebody down, you don't offer up how you know you don't offer anything to the conversation and you're just sitting there putting someone down it, it you're not worth the time yeah most most definitely <laughs> but you know if you're going to criticize it criticize it but offer up something you know suggest that some way to make it better but yeah that okay so that's my little spiel let's get back to what we really yeah, wanted to talk so, about so one of the big things i guess we could just start with the big thing and then we'll talk about littler things um, the big thing is is that with this person talking about the game, the the po- whole Pokedex for Sword and Shield. I have to make sure I say Sword and Shield. I've been saying Sun and Moon a lot. <laughs> Sword and Shield has been confirmed that there's only 400 Pokemon in the Pokedex. Ouch. And that's including the new ones that are getting added, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's including the new ones that, that, that are out. Yes. So that's more than half of the Pokemon. We were close to we were close to a thousand. I mean, they yeah. always said that Pokemon Company they they think that Pokemon Company kind of scared they hit so a thousand. So basic but. basically we basically did get Thanos snapped here. Yeah, we got blipped. That's my quote from the intro. That's what I'm waiting <laughs> for. But um, so like I said in my video that I did the other day, I don't remember when I I don't even know if I posted it. <laughs> I, I think you I posted sh- something. I posted something. I. About it, but um, at first, when they first announced announced that, I was kind of worried. Like I was hoping for like maybe five hundred. I think I did say five hundred, and I think I got a hundred off. But thinking about it and looking at the Pokemon, like I like, I mean, I, some Pokemon aren't meant to be used. I guess you could say. I mean, it's a whole collecting kind of thing. But with just four hundred Pokemon, I don't think it's that bad. I mean, yeah. I mean, I mean, who uses all the Pokemon? I mean, not a lot of people. I mean, I just like having them. Yeah. But it's just like a smaller Pokedex, and then with all this opportunity of new Pokemon, it's just like I'm kind of okay with it because it, it turns a lot of stuff around. Because there's only like, what did I say? Only Mew is the only legendary. Outside of the new legendaries. Outside yeah. of the new legendaries that came back. Yeah. So, so all the legendaries are gone. All the well, starters. they're not gone. They're just the, not the, in this game. Yeah, they're not. They didn't. They didn't. Get, if you want to play with your legendary, sorry, you got to go back to Sun and Moon. <laughs> yeah, and all the starters except for Charmander and the new ones are gone. Yeah, so no, no past generation starters yeah. except for Charmander and his evolutions will be in this game. Yeah, and then I, I like. I would love for them to see how to explain that. <laughs> like, <laughs> you know. It's, like, oh, yeah, we just have this guy. I don't know where he came from, but he's just all over. Yeah, and then I know Josh said um, Fanfy wasn't in it. Yeah, Fanfy's one of I my favorites. I didn't know favorites. that. I thought he was in it. Fanfy. At least I got my growth. And then one thing we mentioned, like, he wanted to know if Rock Ruff and Lycan Rock were in it. And we and he's no not. Rock no Rock Ruff. And he's not. Come and I, on. And I, and I even mentioned that, like, they did so much to show I, the different honestly, forms. hands down, Rock Ruff and Lycan Rock, um, both forms. Mm-hmm. My my absolute they're uh, pretty unique favorite from Sun and Moon. They gave us a priority rock move. I never we never had that. Yeah, Accelerock. We never had that. I I had uh, thanks to your help. I I, I had both both the uh, Lichen Rock forms on my team. Yeah, this is so fresh. <laughs> so with like a lot of Pokemon gone, I'm they are sort they are sort of replaced with the new ones, but. I actually don't know how many of the new ones there are, but there's... so now I remember them talking about they they were creating about a hundred new Pokemon, correct? Yeah, I feel like there's almost so that means of the past eight, what is it, eight generations? Yeah. Before this, only three, about three hundred Pokemon over the past eight generations got picked to be in this game. Yeah. Some of them, a cup, a few of them got new forms. Like, um, Mr. Mime, Mr. Mime, Weezing, Farfetch, Ponyta, Zigzagoon, um, Stunfisk, Corsola, Corsola, there's something else that I'm missing, it. it's so easy, Darmanitan, 
Yeah, there's only a couple. And I want to know how. Like, I, I hope after Sun and Moon comes out, they just have, like, a little documentary about going over how they did this. Because I, 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 like, I, I feel like it's a popularity poll. I, that's why I feel like it, it, it. Because when you look at it. I mean, it could be. When you look at it, I mean, other than the starters and the legendaries, they're like, what Pokemon do you like? And there's, like, some odd ones that made it. Like I said, like, Shed Ninja made it. Mm-hmm. I'm like, dude, like, who uses Shed Ninja? Yeah, nobody that I know of. Yeah, I mean, I mean, like, who uses Shed Ninja? You don't even use it in Pokemon Go. And all that, and then, like, I forgot what other... Oh, I got the list right here. What am I doing? What am I thinking <laughs> off the top of my head? But, yeah, it's 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 really kind of interesting. And, you know, I've actually kind of sat back and thought about it a little bit, and I'm thinking maybe the reason they scaled the Pokedex back so much is not necessarily because they didn't want to do a whole national dex, but maybe it's because they wanted to see how well this was gonna go. Yeah, because like for the the for a uh, new console, it's basically the first big release. Because yeah, we got let's go Pikachu and Eevee, but that wasn't really that was just filler. Yeah, yeah that was filler. Yeah. You know, it was a way to bring it was a way to update the old stuff, bring it into the new generation, yeah. give a give it a little little bit of new life, but. I feel like they want to see how well this will go. They want to go all out. And then right away. And then, yeah. And then just breaks. And then they did mention. Because what if they sit there and they, they had done all of the Pokemon, yes. rendered them all, and then the game just sucks. Yeah, and it, or it's just laggy and they don't know how to fix it. Exactly. And, and like, and they did mention that they didn't want to put all the Pokemon there because <clears> they said they were scared it would be delayed. Because there, there's a lot to go in this. Because I know there's a lot of people like, oh, they're using the animation. It doesn't work. Like, you can't copy and paste something from the yeah. for a 3DS I mean, onto a Switch. I'm sure they any... use the model. I mean, obviously the models from the 3DS games are um, the basis for what we have yeah, now. But... Because they don't look that much different. Yeah. They just look like a scaled up version. Yeah, dude, but you can't like. Well, but people think you're just copying and paste. Like, yeah, just, no, like, you, you click still and drag it. And yeah, then they you, just you still have to get over it. Yeah, you, there's still a lot of work that goes into upscaling something like that. Yeah, and they were worried about it being delayed, and like a lot of people called BS at first, but like, well, I mean, think this, about all these games that we're getting now from like the older PlayStation One and PlayStation Two games that are being re-released on Xbox mm-hmm. and PlayStation Four. They look absolutely horrible. I mean, we still think of them fondly because of all the memories we had Mm -hmm. when we played them the first time. But you have to admit, the old Final Fantasy VII, the graphics, Mm -hmm. are crap compared to today. Yeah, and and think about about how... And Final Fantasy VII is probably my favorite game in the entire world. And think about when they announced this. They announced this during a direct, and they they just said 2019 is when this game is coming. Yeah. And, like, there was no, like... Like, you know, it, 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 um, we're in, what, the third year of the Switch? Or the fourth? I want to say third. When did this I don't know when it came out. I didn't get mine right we're, we're th- I think we're three or four years I into I think the we're Switch. about to be in fourth. Okay. Because I got mine in December when So Smash to get a out. brand new, whole new region in the Pokemon franchise, three years into a game console. Mm-hmm. Okay, completely scaled up graphics. It's a basically a whole new system that they're running with. Yeah, let's cut them a little bit of slack here, people. Yeah, they said it's it's bigger than Mario Odyssey. <coughs> the, the the file like the file size for the whole game is yeah. bigger than Mario Odyssey World or whatever, but it's a little bit underneath Breath of the Wild. So that's how big it is. Yeah. And then, and didn't you just mention earlier when we were talking about this that they said that the the, the wild areas or the open areas that you can just sit there and run around, yeah, are like two regions in Breath of the Wild. Yeah, and I told you I don't even know how big that is, and you said it varies, but they're pretty big. It, in yeah, size. I mean, it's it's not so massive that you it's going to take you forever. Yeah, but it, I mean, they're pretty big for people who have played Breath of the Wild. You know this. Mm-hmm. The game is big. There's a lot in it. Yeah. A lot more than any other Zelda game ever. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. But like, for, like I said, like thinking about it, like looking at all the Pokemon here, there, there's like a lot of. Re, it's like a it like the anime is supposed to be a reboot, right? Right. Like, that's I'm not trying to like go off topic, but like this is sort of like a, a sense in itself that it is sort of like not. I mean, I'm not saying it is a reboot. I mean, but like it's sort of like that. You you yeah. You had all these Pokemon you loved for all these games. 
And they're not, and they even said like, we know you love them. They're gonna come back in a future game, but right now for this time being, it's it's like a, say hit the restart. Now you gotta rethink. Like I mentioned to you, like I watched um, a YouTube YouTuber yeah. Joey Pokeyame. He said that there's only one Uber Pokemon, which is like the super broken ones and competitive left, and that's Aegis Slash. So like, what's next? Like, what's gonna be the next Uber out of like? There's no more legendaries in here. Yeah, that's also a rebirth in competitive play as well because everyone used to fall on megas and Z moves and and the legendaries. And yeah, and YouTube. none of that's. that's I mean, not yes, here we got we got uh, Gigantamaxing and all that. And yeah, but that's like three turns. That's yeah, like, it's not. It's very limited. It's not it's, permanent. Yeah, and you have to choose and pick specifically what you <coughs> want to do. I mean, give like give or take. You know, some of these Z are like. These Gigantamax abilities are kind of, like, crazy, but it's not, like, impossible to beat, like, freaking Mega Kangaskhan who hits you twice no matter. And it's not even half a damage thing. It's more of it's just hitting you yeah, twice the power. But it's like a rebirth in competitive because it's not like Smash Bros. I mean, there's not... I don't think there's going to be, like, competitive Sword and Shield, but there's still going to be competitive Sun and Moon. I don't think there's... I don't even think Pokemon ever did that. There are days where I see on the Pokemon website where they say that, oh, um, Pokemon flashback days will only use Pokemon from Gen 1 or Gen 2. i never seen them say, oh, we're going to go play competitive in red, blue, and yellow. i never seen yeah. that. Um, but I know in Smash Bros. they have that where you could play Melee or Smash Ultimate because, you know, Melee, there's still a lot of Melee players, but I don't think Pokemon's going to do that as well. So, like, there's a rebirth in that in the pokemon competitive scene as yeah. well which is kind of exciting because one reason why i never wanted to really play competitive other than some of the ones where they say that you can't use so and so is that the legendaries are kind of i don't hack like i mentioned before so yeah. it's really hard to get what you want without doing that and i don't want to do that this is doing too much but it's 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 something that everyone's going to ease into pretty good because like, what I've seen from all the Pokemon that are there, and there's a lot of people who were, like, talking mess about this game and then seen the Pokedex and they're like, oh, dude, I'm ready for it. Like, you know, they're, yeah. they're excited for it now. Yeah, because like, not... I know one of the, the biggest things I highlighted was the fact that we weren't going to have every every Pokemon. Mm-hmm. But after after seeing the, the confirmed Pokedex, mm-hmm. um, I mean, for me, yeah, there's a few Pokemon that I'm disappointed that aren't going to be there. Yeah, so am I. But I'll get over it because what they've got is pretty good. I'm already formulating what my new team is going to be. Yeah. And then that's another thing. We're so stuck <clears throat> in what we love so much. Like, I get it. I get it that we love these Pokemon so much. But, like, when you take it away from you, like, what are you going to do next? It's it's like you're reliving everything over. So, okay, <coughs> so I can't have I can't have my Lickitung. What can I use instead of that? I yeah. can't have my... Lichen rocks. What am I going to use instead of that? What else yeah. is in here? And it's like for me, you know. Yes, I got lucky. Growth is in the game, which means I get my Arcanine. That was like one of the first things. That you know. So, yeah. And so, but there's no guarantee that it's going to be in the next game. Yeah. So. So like yeah, and I and I doubt. And the one thing one thing they said is like I, like I mentioned, they said that oh they'll be in a future game. I do not think that the next game they're going to swap what we have in this one. With the ones that we don't have in the next one, you know. I think we'll see all of the Galar originals in the next one. Yeah, I for feel, sure. I feel like the next time they do this, I feel like, and all we of might them see some movie. of the same Pokemon that we get this time around. But I think we'll see a lot of the ones that weren't in here. Now, whether or not we get other legendaries, I don't know. I can't say that. I mean, that's that's far off in the future. We're probably we're we're probably not looking at anything until what. 2024 at least before they even announce a new Pokemon game. I don't know. They they announce them yearly, oh not yearly, a year or two ish. This is a. This I could see them taking a little bit longer now though because yeah, the games the, are going to be bigger. Yeah, and they'll have to figure out because eventually they'll have to put all these in the game. Yeah, and you got to figure it at some point they're going to go completely open world. Yeah, eventually. you know, and have and have that massive game. That is going to have all thousand plus Pokemon in it. You know, because it's going to happen at some point. Oh, do you know what I just noticed? There's no pre, there's no fossil Pokemon either. Oh, none of the old fossil Pokemon? Yeah, all them star and them are gone. 
Was there fossils in second gen? No, they're in third gen, huh? Yeah, yeah, third gen with the cradley. Cradley? I'm sorry, but, but yeah. <coughs> yeah. <it's coughs> sorry. Just, oh, yeah, yeah, they're not in there. Don't I'm sitting here coughing. Sorry. Yeah, they're not in there. It's crazy. <coughs> but, but, yeah, so if you're worried about it, just hold your horses. Don't cancel your pre-order. It's got my man, the only T Rex Pokemon's gone. <laughs> but um but yeah, but basically so. this. If you know you're gonna buy the game, buy the game, mm-hmm. play it, then if you don't like it, gripe about it. Yeah, then you do it that way. Don't talk about it before it comes out. Yeah, don't make a judgment on it before you've actually seen it. Yeah, we've got leaks. So you know a little bit of what's coming, maybe if you if you've if you haven't managed to stay away from those leaks, like mm-hmm. Ted and I have both said, we just wanted to see what Pokemon we were getting. We stayed away from the story elements. Yeah, we did. We know some of it, but that's because it's what's been given to us by Nintendo and Game Freak. Yeah, the story. So for us, the you know the the story is going to be all original, and we're both. Very excited to play it. As a matter of fact, we're most likely going to disappear for about a week and a half. Yeah, hopefully. Yeah. That's <laughs> why we need this video because we don't know if we're going to have any more. We might be on a hiatus. Yeah, a little bit because uh, we already know that next week we're not going to be able to meet up. So Yeah. But with that, so <laughs> moving on from the Pokedex, it's 400 like we said. So, But let's talk about some of the Pokemon that are in this. We can talk about the new ones. <laughs> Is there any ones that you've seen that you really liked or what I showed you? Um, I mean, I actually am... One that I was surprised to see got a new form is Corsola, obviously. Oh, yeah. Corsola is cool. Yeah. It, the, the the new version... Now, it's it's new evolved form, which it never had an evolved form prior to this. Corsola. Is <laughs> kind of weird looking. Yeah. I mean, it's not bad, but it, it's weird. It's just going to take a little while to get used to the fact that Corsola evolves. Yeah, that's the thing. That's the thing. That's one thing I liked about this is that, like Pokemon, they always <coughs> joked about how Pokemon evolution is really not evolution. You know what I mean? And then the the lonely forms came out in their in their lore. Like for instance, Marowak became Ghost and Fire because there's a lot of if it's um, enemies, you know that his that he was weak against, so he like trained and trained and trained, and you know he became you know Ghost. Ghost Fire, which is what yeah. helps him fight his enemies. And then there's um, Pokemon, like, what else? There's other Pokemon, too, that do that. And then there's lore and stuff like with that, that they talk about <coughs> that actual evolution. So now, with the Galarian forms, like they showed, the first one was uh, Zigzagoon. It evolves into um, the Galarian's Linoon, and then that evolves completely not into Obstagoon, because... They say that, like, the lore of that is, is, just to remind you guys, is that the core form of Zigzagoon is the Galarian ones. They always fight. They're always competitive. They always never, they never back down from a challenge. And that they made, they're, they're so aggressive that to be stronger, that they became an obstacle for other Pokemon and became Obstagoon. Which and is he like, apparently watched a little too many Kiss music videos. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, Gene Simmons tweeted that. That's when I knew that was, <laughs> that was intended. But um, but yeah, so that's actually like true evolution. You know what I mean? So that's the same thing. I can't wait to see what all the other ones are. And same thing. I don't, yeah, I don't remember what Weezing's was, but Weezing just is just like pure air now. But you get to see true evolution with it, and that's something that you know that I'm really it's really cool. I can't wait to see the lore of it all. Mm-hmm. But. But yeah, there's um one of my favorite Pokemon that I've seen is um probably Impidimp. I don't know if you've seen his final form, but um what's cool about Impidimp because I always told man I seen it the first time I seen it well not yeah the first time we <coughs> see it actually is the demo, but like we actually see it in motion is during that 24 hour research project they had the wow. live stream, and you see it run across like running from the. In, like, from a bush to, like, towards the camera. Yeah. And it's also being a dick and, like, covering the camera when Galarian Ponytail was running by. We didn't know what the hell it was. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, but it's, but it's evolution, like, it, it's so, like, I would have never guessed it became that. Because when it's impotent, I thought it was going to be, like, something, like, not stupid, but, like, 
you know, like an imp, like something that's just like just brainless. Like he's just like I can picture it like with a club or something, like hitting itself on the head. But it becomes this like goblin. Like a lot of people call it Green Goblin, like because it becomes this goblin. Um, it's I forgot the second form, but its final form is Grim Snarl. It actually has a Gigantamax form. Really? Yeah, and it's and he just looks even more menacing, and it looks really cool. And there's all sorts of other Pokemon, like, like I always like I always love Pokemon, and I like everyone's like, what's the one thing you hate about it? And it's just like. What I hate is just, like, nitpicking because I never really have, like, an issue with it. Like, I played all of them. I bought all of them. I can't complain. But, like, when I seen this Pokedex compared to, like, Sun and Moon and then probably X and Y, I really felt like it was the first time I played Pokemon, if that's, like, a bold statement to say. Like, it's just seeing the... Because, like, nothing's going to compare. A lot of people compare, like, Pokedex to the, like, um, red, blue, and yellow like, oh, that's when Pokemon was, like, the best, you know, look at the designs, but it's whatever, but, like, when I actually seen these Pokemon, like, I was scrolling through them, like, there wasn't one, I was like, oh, that's dumb, that's dumb, that's dumb, oh, cool, dumb, dumb, cool, I was like, oh, dude, like, what, I was like, what, I was scrolling, like, no way, I was like, this is so cool, like, a lot of, I seen a lot of reactions from the leaks like that, so, it's pretty cool to say that, like, it felt like I was playing Pokemon the first time seeing all these new Pokemon, yeah, there's just, like, so much, like, I can't even name all of them. And there's, like, I always like unique typings. Like, you, like that, that one you said you like, the the Poison Electric one. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It looks like Crash Bandicoot. <laughs> but. On steroids. Yeah, on steroids, dude. It was like, <laughs> yeah. I mean, and, I mean, Crash is already on steroids. Yeah, we get a new elephant. I showed you the elephant. We haven't had a new elephant in forever. Yeah. Since Dawn fan. Rest in peace. I'm not, game. I, I'm not a huge fan of the base form but it's evolved form i like yeah it's up. like it's kind of it's kind of it was like kind of it wasn't weird but it was just like okay it's cute Whereas, and then it becomes like it's it's not like with you oh, know of course the first time we ever saw don fan was actually in the Pokemon mewtwo movie. strikes yeah. back movie um that was the first time we ever saw it it had no idea where it was coming from yeah we're like dude what the heck yeah <laughs> Um, and then of course when we saw Famfy, it was just, I, I, the first time I saw Famfy, I just absolutely fell in love with yeah. Famfy. It's, it's so cute. Yeah, dude, that was, Ash got that from the, the breeder and. Yeah, he had it in the egg for the longest time and. Yeah, dude. And then I'm... hatched for him. Mm-hmm. Eventually evolved into a Dawn fan of his own. Yeah, he used that Dawn fan in, um, <coughs> what, in, um, Diamond and Pearl. When he went against the, wait, did he? He used that in, a, in some kind of Pokemon League, and he also used it in the Frontier Brain, in the Pokemon Frontier, mm. which is pretty cool. I mean, it's been, I've... I'm barely grasping on remembering whatever. <laughs> I've watched a few movies here and there. I've seen some of the anime. Like, the most of the most of the anime I've seen is, you know, up through the Orange Islands, and that was about it. Yeah. Uh, but I've seen, them like, several of the movies. Let's see. Let me bring up a, a list so better but, discuss. Anyways... Um, what other Pokemon do you like? Is, I was uh, really Pokemon? surprised that we're getting a new Ponyta. And, oh. of course, Rapidash. Yeah. Uh, we Now, we haven't seen what the uh, Galarian Rapidash looks like, have we? I have. Oh, yeah. well, I it, haven't. It, it just, it's just like... You actually, don't show me, because I want to be surprised, because yeah. that's going to be a Pokemon I catch. Dude, that's in my game. Oh, well, it's going to be a Pokemon <laughs> that you're going to catch for me and then send to me. Hold on, yeah. It's it's pretty cool. I was kind of <coughs> when they first announced it, everyone was like fairy type, fairy type, fairy type. Or fairy what type. am I? What am I? What am I talking about? We're both getting both of the games. Yeah, but it's in my <laughs> game that I'm playing first. <laughs> yeah, he's playing shield. I'm playing sword. There you go. Yeah. Oops. Pokedex. But yeah. And then of course I mentioned that uh, I th- I want to say it's what Dark Souls. Fuck, I dropped my phone on my that head. the. <laughs> The uh, the the sword legendary is basically oh, yeah, you're ripped off of. That. Yeah, you're telling me the about giant wolf the giant wolf with the giant sword in his mouth. Mm-hmm. I think that's Dark Souls. Please correct me if I'm wrong. I didn't even know that. <clears throat> I actually didn't know. I've never played the second Dark Souls game, and I think that's what it's from. Either that or it's like I haven't finished the first Dark Souls game because uh-huh. it's 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 intense. It's a, it's such an intense game. Yeah, but um, but yeah, and then uh, it was it was so cool that um, 
I like the unarmored forms of the legendaries that you showed me. Yeah, they look like cat. Yeah, because they this. Yeah, they have like no armor on when you catch them, supposedly. Yeah. And then supposedly it said that during battle it accumulates like metal, and then like it gets its form. Yeah. And of course, uh, there was that uh, that Digimon we get w- with the game. Oh, the one I showed you. <laughs> yeah, that's all Creamy's form. That's how Creamy's like freaking form. If you guys don't know who that is, it's not it's a giant cake Pokemon. <laughs> that's the best I can describe it for you. I'm trying to find I I don't know how I showed you. Pokemon Sword and Show Pokedex. I don't know how I oh here it is. Duh, that's the first one. <laughs> oh here it is, yeah. And then um I know I didn't get to show you, but there's actually <coughs> actually um like I told you, um Lady Ball and Lady aren't in the game. Right. And there's actually this new I everyone I think people are saying or speculating it's going to be the first, like, one of those, because it's a, it's a three-stage Pokemon. It's going to be the, um, like, the first bug we see. Okay. And it's, it's um, it starts off, oh, if we can, this zoom-in is so horrible. It's called, like, Blippy Bug or something. I can't read that far. I can't zoom in. But it, it becomes, like, a ladybug, lady, um, ladybug, a ladybug uh-huh. called Orb, Orb Beetle, and it becomes Bug and Psychic. Interesting. I don't yeah, think we've had that, that before. Yeah, we haven't. And then they have Wooloo's Final Evolution, which becomes like a like a ram. Now, didn't you say you didn't really care for Yompers? Oh, I was... Evolution well, too much? Well, I don't care. It's just I was disappointed. Because, I don't know, it, be, it becomes like a hound, like a, like a dog. Like, obviously, it is a dog. It was a corgi, and then it became like... So it was supposed to be like a greyhound, but like a race dog. Mm-hmm. Cause we see that was like leaked on posters and, and from a trailer and whatnot. But yeah, it looked pretty cool. It look, I mean, I'll probably use it. Obviously, I'll use it. But I was hoping it'll be, like, like I don't understand how like not everything is dual type at this point. You know what I mean? Like yeah. everything. The, by this point in the game, I'm trying to fix this so I can sit up. <clears throat> Sorry. At this point, everything should be dual type. But I guess it has its reasons. But. But yeah, and then there's like, a, there's a new Cobra, there's Silly Cobra and Santa Conda, and then Applin, supposedly Applin evolves into Flapple and Sword, and then Appleton and Shield, so I'm guessing it's an offensive and a defensive Pokemon. Okay. I guess we'll see that a lot. Appleton looks like Peace Dragon. And of course, Meowth has some new forms. Yes, Meowth has. Uh, I'm just guessing his name is Meowth. <laughs> his first form, Galarian Meowth. Yeah. And then I guess I'm guessing it evolves into Pers Perserker, which looks like the same one, but it has like a metal hat with horns on. I mean, like I told you, I don't know what more they can do. Yeah. With Persian. <laughs> <laughs> and that's another thing I want to know why I mean I'm guessing they're doing it because for the anime that's what I'm figuring why Meowth had like a glaring like an Alolan form and then a glaring form maybe for the anime hmm. maybe I'm not sure just for interaction because other than Meowth getting beat up by Pikachu you really don't get more than that so maybe <laughs> you just, just talk to like something of his own kind Oh yeah, dude, and then also there's um, dude, um, oh, I just had it. Where'd it go? Um, Corviknight. It. We found out that it's a three stager. Oop, keep king that. And oh then, yeah. And there's a rookie D and Con Squire, a uh, Corva Squire, and then Corviknight. This I just like how colorful all the. That's Pokemon the big are. black armored bird. Yeah, Corviknight. And then Roly Coley becomes like a lot of people are disappointed in Roly Coley. I didn't get to show you it. I'll show you after, so you can, but it becomes like car coal, which looks like a cart full of coal, and then mm-hmm. it becomes colossal. Get it, coal? Yeah, I got it. <laughs> but it's like it's like it's like half of mag mortar <coughs> and half of Rhyperior. Mm. and a lot of people are disappointed that it's like that. Mm. But it has a Gigantamax form, it makes up for it. It looks cooler. What else is on here? And then, and then what else do we know about the game so far? Like, okay, so what do we know story-wise so far? Story-wise? Like, yeah. from, like the plot, the story? Yeah. Well, we know there, there's a mysterious girl 
she's um that we've seen in the trailer. She has her um, team yell that follows her everywhere. She wants to be like. There's not really much on her. I forgot her name, obviously, but she's supposed. We don't know what's about her. There were leaks. No, not leaks. There were rumors that she was gonna be the um the princess of the queen from Galar, Mm. supposedly. Remember we talked about those. Yeah. We don't know if that's true, but she's super edgy because she's like like a goth chick. But we don't know what she is. We, we hope she's obviously an important character. And then we have the, what's his name? I forgot his name, but there's another boy character there who wants to be the best just like us. We have like a lot of rivals. We have her. We have, we have Hop. We have the other guy I just mentioned right now. We know there, there's a champion, which is related to our rivals. Hop's is Hop's brother, older brother. He has the Charizard, which we figure it has some kind of new form because why else would you use a Charizard? Yeah. <laughs> well, we've we kind of seen the the Gigantamaxing form, haven't we? Yeah, we, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's Gigantamax, but like when um when he, we first seen the trailer of him, we were all wondering why Charizard, why yeah. Charizard? Because you know, like, why would you? Why would the leader the like, and like, that was something that Nintendo release not yeah 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 it was in the leak yeah it was in the trailer but um but we're wondering like, why would the champion of this new region have a gen one pokemon on his team we're like oh yeah. people were saying oh what was that one we called it arm revolution remember that oh that yeah. was that was a rumor it was a rumor and we're like making fun of because it, it was like digimon remember they said that <laughs> he was gonna have armor and they said mewtwo well i mean if armor. you kind of think about it that's that's basically what's going on with the legendaries yeah so, it's not that it was completely incorrect, it was just a little overstated. <laughs> yeah. Um, and, of course, the gym battles are going to be a lot bigger. Oh, yeah. The gym battles. I think Sword gets um, Phoebe, which is, a, is the fighting gym, and I get Alistair, which is the ghost gym, which is pretty cool. Um, there was actually... <coughs> There was gym leaders leaked. I'm not going to talk about it. I didn't even click it. I seen them. I don't know their names. I don't know what they are. Yeah, I think but, I saw a picture of it on Twitter. As yeah, well. but they look really, really good design. I think all the gym leaders so far we've seen are good design. It says for like the buff guy with the baby's head. Hmm. I mean, that was kind of legit, kind of weird. But um, you got the the water gym leader who's like really good designed. I mean, Phoebe for a fighting gym. She's like, I think I'm saying her name wrong, but. She's pretty good. Alistair looks cool as hell. The ghost kid, he looks like he's wearing Majora's Mask. <laughs> and he's and that's really good. But what story-wise, like, for the story, if I... Because I, I didn't see... Like I told you, I didn't see the leaks. I right. you really wouldn't know by looking at it what we can be getting ourselves into. Mm-hmm. What, do you have any like ideas what we might be getting ourselves into? Yeah, I don't know. I have no idea. Like I said, we both stayed away from the leaks about the story. Because we want we want to experience that as we're going through. Yeah. I, I feel... I want to say that I think um, the commissioner guy is up to something. Uh-huh. Because, you know, we see the commissioner and his assistant. One of them were up to well, something. And, I mean, we earlier on... You know, when back when the earliest leaks were coming out, there were obviously some story leaks, mm-hmm. which is why we know some of this stuff, and we don't know if it's true or not. We yeah. don't know if um, we can pretty much say with confidence that the Pokedex that we've seen is a hundred percent true. Yeah, because yeah, the the that dude's gonna be in trouble, and I and I actually wanted to talk about that a little bit more, real quick. Mm-hmm. Um, I think. Did, did it say how he got a copy of the game? Was he like one of the ones that got early, an early copy? I don't. I didn't. I. I don't know. Well, if that is the case, I and mean, he's one he of the ones that got lucky and got an early copy, I guarantee you, it's the last time Game Freaking Nintendo ever do that. I don't. Yeah, because they found him really fast. They found <coughs> the last guy who did it too. And. Well, you think they would have learned their lesson after the last one then? Yeah, I don't. I wouldn't know how he got it. Maybe, and I mean, maybe these it people... was maybe it was like a, not an early release, but I guess he probably got it early. Oh yeah, maybe maybe he got it early. Because I know sometimes they'll do it to like, they'll do it like with uh, influencers and and uh, YouTube content creators. They'll get uh, 
Yeah. They'll get ga- the games early. Mm-hmm. Just to kind of, you know, hype up the game like a week or two before it comes out. Yeah, Ch- Chairman Rose. I said, what did I say? Commissioner? Hey, Chairman Rose. Uh, Chairman um, Rose and Olena. But yeah, but people but I mean, at this point, you've gotta you've gotta realize that if you're if you're going to do what this guy did and and leak the story content, leak the Pokedex, you you basically you're taking your own life in your hands <laughs> because you these the you know Nintendo and Game Freak, I'm sure they both have an army of lawyers that will just absolutely destroy him financially. Yeah. So going back to Vault. Well, about what we know based off the trail. I'm actually looking at the character list, and it's not even that crazy. We have Hop, Professor Magnolia, Sonya, Leon, who's the champion, Chairman Rose, Olina, which is his assistant, Bead, which is supposed to be like a... Uh, oh, so the professor's a flower, not a tree this time, huh? Yeah, Magnolia. Running out of trees. That was fun. And then the girl, I forgot her name was, was Marnie, for who the team yell has a fan base. Marnie? Yeah. Like as the girl from Halloween Town? Yes. <laughs> but, well, that's all the characters we really got that we know of from trailers. So I'm looking at Cerebis, and I know they don't post the spoiler stuff, so. Yeah. But, um. Because <laughs> they I, don't want to get their site shut down. <laughs> yeah, they're one of the big ones, big sites. But, so think about story-wise, I don't know. I know that, um, like, we know who, we, we, we've seen Eternatus from Leaks. I showed you who Eternatus is, the third legendary. Yeah. And, um. One of his Gigantamax, he has a Gigantamax form, why not? But <laughs> one of his moves is that he does double damage on other Dynamax and Gigantamax Pokemon. Mm-hmm. So that makes me think back to the leak where um, they said that one of the rumors that I read on, on one of the past videos is that they said, if I remember correctly, that they're using energy from Internatus to use as a publicity stunt to get money for like getting getting to selling battles and whatnot because you know if you look at all the trailers that gets like more hyped up than usual they have stadiums for gyms instead of just a regular gym yeah they broadcast it and they're using the gigantamax and dynamax pokemon as like oh you know oh hey check this out you know we're better but it's actually using energy from eternatus to like to sort of break him free that's what one of the rumors i read before i kind of see it i kind of not saying that's 100 percent true but since it does double damage on dynamax and gigantamax pokemon meaning that he has to have some connection because even if you just look at him he's the same color of the dynamax and gigantamax pokemon the, he, he's that reddish purplish yeah glow yeah he gets he basically is that qu- color of yeah the the aura that they get when they yeah dynamax and Dynam- dynamax yeah so maybe he he's connected in some sort of way and um i remember rumors saying that he was it was like the first evil legendary we had since like garatina mm. so maybe that's it um I want to know how Marty plays into us. I wonder if she really is a princess and if we're going to actually see the queen. Oh, yeah, that's what it was. The rumor was that Marnie was the princess and the queen was actually a gym leader. Hmm. That's what they said it was, if I remember correctly. Could be. Could be, yeah. Because, um... She won't know tra- until we play the game. Yeah, we won't know until we play the game. And then I guess she was supposed... She was trying to, um... Go against being a princess and you know she wanted to be on her own and do all that yeah but who knows I, well, I'm really excited I can't wait I can't keep I keep saying it but like just thinking about it just a few more days <laughs> yeah we could talk about um the open the, um the wild areas like you said there's a lot of cool things we can do in there we could camp we can cook and whatnot giving that little aspect of an RPG and yeah. it's cool too because they said that we could um visit each other's camps if we're online and near each other yeah that's which is pretty cool. So wait, no, no. Do we have to actually be like in close proximity to one? Like our switches have to be. No, I don't think so. It okay. said it said it was online. We just have to be in the same area in Galar. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Or we'll be in the same. Well, if we're in the open area, because what I seen was actual. Because I can, you could sort of tell an NPC between a a character. Mm. So it showed like one person walking. It showed like. A character, which is like us, what I'm saying, a character, just walking around the open, wild area. So there might be a, um, sort of how, remember how the, um, 
that that system we used to have in X and Y where you could turn on and off and we could see our online friends. Yeah. The bot, I think it was like the PSS or something. Yeah. Where we used yep. to wonder trade and whatnot. We could say hi. I put, maybe it's like that <coughs> where if we turn our, 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 our you know, our, our thing on in quotations, we can see other online people because I can see some people not wanting to have that and just want to just play the game. Yeah. You know, I want to know how trading is going to be. Yeah, this is definitely going to be interesting. And I wonder, um, one of the things that I like too is being able to edit the look of my character. I yeah. How they did a really good job in this one. I mean, others were just like, Oh, just changing the colors of shirts and whatnot. But this one looks like, I mean, I'm not saying it's like a huge step. I mean, the, really, the 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 one we really had the most options with was X and Y. Yeah, was the one we had the most different kind of clothing options and could edit what our character looked yeah, like. Yeah, Sunny Moon was kind of like, but yeah, it I didn't could, really have much. It was it, gen, it was generic. It was bland. It was, yeah, it was like it mostly was, the same stuff or different colors and yeah. Yeah, I know you can like pay to buy. Like the Ko- the Komo O armor, which is like the dragon, and you can wear that. But wow, yeah, it was. And then oh, you can make your own trainer cards, which is cool. When you go against people online, you can make your own custom trainer card in oh, a nice. pose or something, and it has like your signature on there. Nice, which is pretty cool. That'll be cool. That reminds me of um, Pokemon. Oh my god, Battle Revolution for the Wii. The like it was like I don't know if you remember what that was where you can connect your I game to it. I never played that one. Yeah, it's just like you can you can really decorate your character and you can make your own like witty lines and whatnot. So when you battle, like I was like, oh, you think you can battle me, whatnot? And then when I lose, I play. I can't believe you beat me. You can write your own little quotes, but I mean you can't do that in Sword and Shield. But it reminded me of that because like you could really make yourself look in a top hat. You could change your you know make you. I wore like an all white tux. With a white top hat with sunglasses. That's what my, <laughs> that was what my character was in Battle Revolution. But it reminds me of that. There's um we keep like I mentioned in the old video, we could use our our box anywhere we want now. Nice. Just like um let's go Pikachu and Eevee. Yeah, that was yep. Yeah, that was pretty cool. The like I told you about um in the last video, the the mints we could use, we, we could change our natures. So like breeding will be easier now. And of course, the the no see wild encounters are back. Oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah. You, you, they're they're both here. It's like a best of both worlds, I guess you can say. Okay. Yeah, you could you could walk around. You, they showed you in the trailers. You could see your Pokemon and whatnot, and then or you could just run in the grass. I wonder if they're gonna bring back like, you know, if they if they're glowing, you know, if it has better stats and whatnot. Mm. Oh, you mean like how... Uh, Let's go Pikachu. Yeah, they, they have the red and blue glow. Yeah, whether it's big or not. Yeah, I can't... do. it's so cool. Now, what do you think is after this? Like, if this goes well, what do you think... Do you think... I mean, a lot of people think that we're going to get... Uh, what was it? Gen 4 remakes? Diamond and Pearl. Diamond and Pearl? Yeah. I could see that. Yeah. I could definitely see to that. Give it a break. Because, yeah, that'll probably be a good break. In the sense yeah, line. it would be a good way for them to to give us something new, and then while and then they could be working on an original title. Yeah, and then it could have like all the Pokemon in there. That's not probably because I'm pretty sure there's a lot of Pokemon that's not from Fourth Fourth Gen that are aren't yeah. in the game. No, I mean I probably you probably wouldn't see you know a, a huge national decks mm-hmm. in the Diamond and Pearl remakes. Yeah, um, I mean obviously you probably get some more. Oops. Than what we're getting in this game, yeah. But I mean, it just it seems like in the story from Diamond and Pearl, that and of course, um, Black and White and Black and White uh, Two, the those are two probably two of the best stories out of the entire Pokemon franchise. Yeah, you know they they, they were both the and of course. Um, Diamond and Pearl, Diamond and Pearl Platinum had the hardest uh, Pokemon League. Yeah. Out of any of them. Cynthia f- fucked everyone up. <laughs> I wasn't ready. I mean, you still like them having like. It feels. I mean, it, it it felt like you. No matter what you tried to do, you know, you could sit there and grind for hours, but it, it always felt like when you went in there to fight the Elite Four, it felt like you were severely underpowered. Yeah. 
Yeah. And that was the first time that ever happened because Every, everyone else in the Pokemon League was like, like all right, you know what I mean. And then you got to Cynthia, and she had like and a she Cario, just yeah, probably a Garchomp. Yeah, that's why everyone loves her. Like that one, uh, who's the one girl in um, in the Johto region with the Miltank? Oh, Whitney. Yeah, Whitney. The <laughs> fucking Miltank killed everything, dude. Nobody was expecting Roll that. Roll out, stomp, body Nobody slam. was expecting her to be that tough. Yeah, dude. Even going back and playing, I made sure I was over level. Oh, yeah, I did too. <laughs> I was over level for a while. But and plus, care. we were doing, of course, we were doing that little. Uh, the Nuzlocke. The Nuzlocke competition. And of course, like, and I, I mean, you and I, we both knew what was coming up with Whitney. Yeah, one, of was us, like, one of us <laughs> were losing something. <laughs> yeah. So it's like we both knew we had to sit there and fucking train for days for that fight. I know I spent for like, th- just like three days grinding my Pokemon so they would not go down. Yeah, well, well. What would, like, beat that? I think a ghost type was the only thing that could beat that. And you can get that from... But you can't get one that early. You can get one at Sprout Tower or Ghastly at night. But oh, yeah. they could be lucky if you get that or a Hoodoo. Because we're playing a Nuzlocke. Yeah. I think I got a Hoodoo because I didn't have no Ghastly. <laughs> yeah. But, but, yeah, but I'm wondering um, with the Pokemon, like, what else... Like, okay, the Max Raid Battle, they I forgot to mention that the Max Raid Battle, the first ones that are scheduled is, I think, for you, which you have Sword, um, uh, Dreadnaws, um, Max Raid Battle will be popping up more, and for me would be um, Butterfreeze, okay. Gigantamax one, and you can catch it and hopefully get a hidden ability, which I'm hoping Dreadnaws hidden ability is pretty good. Um, and that's another thing I'm, I'm, I'm excited for is for us to do those. Yeah. That way we can try to catch it. I mean, they're gonna. It's gonna be hard. Like they show. They showed a battle with Butterfree, which looked pretty. Looked pretty crazy because. Now the max raid battles. Do they automatically start out Gigantamax? Yes. And they stay Gigantamax through yes. the whole battle, right? So it's it's kind of like the raid battle from Pokemon Go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just you have a little more option and we, on what you we can, can do. choose one to go Gigantamax, but I don't know how we choose. I wouldn't know. Cause like, yeah, it's probably you probably have to coordinate. Yeah, and I see that not happening unless we have a full team. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, hopefully we hopefully it's not done where we're just placing randomly. I'm hopefully like we can see some. Yeah, of our I really list. want to be able to for I like you, it, me, and Manuel to all be grouped up. Yeah, that would be really cool. Of course, Manuel has to have a switch first. Yeah, hopefully he's been good so Santa can bring him one. <laughs> <laughs> but. This other stuff. Ho, ho, ho. It showed. It showed. Um, you can make curry. You can cook with your Pokemon. You can play with them at camp, which is pretty good. What else is there? I feel like I'm missing something. Oh, you can finally change nicknames for traded Pokemon. I know that's not a big thing. <laughs> it is for some people. For I some would imagine. people, it's so cool. Yeah, because some people sometimes you do you do some of those random changes and you actually get a good Pokemon, but they've got a stupid ass name. Yeah, or or like you, like I had to ask you what like what Pokemon. Yeah, exactly. You want to get. Because in those games you couldn't change it. Yeah, like for me, like I like breeding Pokemon, and I know like you ask for some, and then you know I'm pretty sure a couple of my other friends ask for some. So when I trade them a Pokemon, it's rather are you okay with it being this Pokemon's name forever? Do you want me to give it a nickname? But now you don't have to worry about that. So and, you you would be the Brock of our team. I would be Ash. Is that being Manual Misty? Yeah, dude. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> I mean, I'm pretty sure if if he ever plays this game, he he, I mean, he picks a girl for everything. I mean, he he is stuck with Sobble, isn't he? Oh yeah. Man, let's let you know what I forgot. <laughs> let's let's talk about the starters really quick. We went so far into it, not talking about the starters. So, what do you think about all three starters? I like the evolutions for both Scorbunny and Grookey. Mm-hmm. I even like the way the final Evo looks for Scorbunny. I'm mm-hmm. I'm not at all disappointed. Mm-hmm. Um, it, it 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 fits and and Grookey fits. I, actually, Grookey's final evolution looks like a freaking badass. Yeah. Sobble's second evolution looks good. It looks natural. The third evolution, if it turns out that it is in fact though that is the way it looks, I'm pretty sure it is by now. Looks terrible. Italian kind of. Now it may be it could turn out to be the best Pokemon in the game. 
Yeah, it could be. Could be I, the best of the three a starters. Lot of, a lot of people compare it to Greninja because people like, hated Greninja. Yeah, but Greninja looked cool. A lot of people didn't agree with that. Like, a lot of people thought Greninja looked dumb. And not everybody's going to agree, and that's... Yeah, and then Greninja became one of the the most broken Pokemon. With the most abil- overused Pokemon yeah, in the entire ability, game, yeah. His ability made him change typing to whatever move he used. He was versatile. Yeah. He got a new form with Ash Greninja. He's in Smash Bros., Yep. It's just so, like, now he's not in yeah. the game at all. So, yeah. <laughs> now we got But like, like I said, he could turn out to be the, the best Pokemon in game, but he looks terrible. Yeah, he looks kind he of looks different. He looks terrible. It's that thing I tell you about. I hate when Pokemon go from, like, regular on all fours to, like, bipedal. And that's <laughs> it's, not the, it's not the case most of the time. But it's not like they kept him on all fours in his second evolution because he's standing upright in his second evolution. Yeah. So it, it's not like they, it's not like they, what they did with, um, um, uh, what was the sun and moon fire? Oh my God. Oh, um, Torcat? Yeah. It's and not like, well, Litten? they, yeah, not how they went from Litten to Torcat where they kept it on all fours and then they went to Incineroar. They turned it into like fucking a, Macho Man Randy yeah. Savage. Yeah. And then, um, I feel like. Like I told you, like I told you, Emmanuel in our group chat. Like I feel like it should have just been the guy from Monster Inc. His <laughs> final evil, because you know, because like he was a crybaby. Because like he, well, he's not a crybaby. He, and he means Randall, not Sully, by the way. Yeah, not Sully, but um, like Sable, he was crying a lot. You know, he's emotional. The second form of him, he looked like he was on the edgy teen vibe. You know, he was just like whatever. And it would have been cool if he became, like, this monster-looking, like, no, I'm just going to pick on everyone else now. That would have been cool, but it's not. And, like, for me, with my um, my opinion on the starters is that I'm not really going to judge how they look until I see their other abilities and what they can learn. Um, they, sh- for... I, I mean, I really like Grookey's Final Evolution because I kind of pictured it was going to be a gorilla. <laughs> I thought it was weird how they his second form, I forgot his name, is just like a taller Grookey. <laughs> yeah. It's not much. But, okay, so there was one little thing, though. Apparently, there's going to be a lot more gender differences. Yeah. Cause they, and this time around, because it looks like the second form of Grookey the male has the two sticks, sticks in his hand, the whereas hair. the female has it in the hair. Yeah. And we don't know if that's just, uh, we don't know that for sure. I mean, that's what people it are could speculating. Be, it could be, uh, you could be able to actually change your own Pokemon's look. Yeah, or or just assess how, where he puts it at, because, yeah, you know, you can just put that's, it in his That's hair. true, that's true. Yeah, but, um, and then, one I really liked, is what I'm probably going to keep forever, is uh, Score Bunny's second form. Well, it looks like it looks like a ninja has the mask over its mouth, you know, or, or something over its mouth, and his ears his ears are drooped down. He's wearing that black and red clothing, he and then he becomes like a soccer player. But like Grookey's um, Grookey's evolution, like I kind of figured it was gonna be a gorilla. But um, one thing I do I don't like about them is that they're singular typing. Um, yeah, I, I feel like at this point going. You know, we, uh, pure typing on a on a starter is just I you're know, handicapping them. And I want to know why. I mean, maybe they didn't want to go down the firefighting thing again. But at this point, I mean, I mean they did. They were clever with the uh, fire dark in the last one with Incineroar. That was yeah. clever because it was based off a wrestler, but a dirty wrestler, which is dark. Yeah. And. I feel like... Um, that's very evident in Smash Bros. more than it is in the actual Pokemon <laughs> yeah, game. Yeah, it is. And, um... So, like, if I would do something... Like, I wouldn't know what you want to do with it. But, like... Like, I forgot what I told There's gotta you. be some kind of dual typing that hasn't been done before. Like, you could have gone with, like, a Fire Poison or something like fire that. Fire Poison... Like, I, I was hoping... Or, because... hell, with it, with it being a, a bunny... You could have had it like fire electric. That's what that's I never been done. Yeah, fire electric would be fresh, a physical a fire. You electric. know the, the and the fact that he runs so fast. Yeah, because sits like, there and, and he you know is able to build up. Yeah, and uh, it showed him when they first announced 
the the starters. Remember, he was running up that metal tower. Yeah. How is he doing that? <laughs> How is he standing on that? So a lot of people were actually theorizing that he'd be fire steel. Yeah. Oh yeah, that too. Fire steel, or and then a lot of people. Said but I would, I would definitely go for a, a fire electric. Yeah, that would have been. Or cool. fire lightning. Sorry, it's it's not electric type. It's lightning type. Yeah. As I've recently learned. And then like with Sabo, I would have seen him water ghost. Or water poison. I think water ghost would have worked just because of the the way they showed him in the trailer, how he was kind of blending in there in the yeah. water. And then with Grookey, I wouldn't know. They already did. They did. They get grass fighting. Like I would have been. I would have been okay. You with could have gone like grass rock or yeah, grass, grass, grass. rock. I know they they kind of been done before. Like you you know you think about going dual typing you the the three of them that you think of is. Grass rock, grass ground, grass poison. Yeah, grass poison. All the grass normal would have been okay with me, honestly. Might have been all right with me. Yeah. But uh, um, yeah, because right now, like, what is Grookey weak against? He's weak against bug, fire, flying, ice. Am I missing anything? I don't think I'm missing anything. He's weak against four. Intellion's weak against electric and grass. Mm. And then, and I don't know what the last one. I forgot the last name of Score Bunny's thing, but he's weak against water, ground, rock. Yeah. That's it. So, this, uh, Grookey has the most weaknesses, so I'm about to build around that. But, I'm not going to, I'm not going to judge, say, I'm not going to say they suck until I see the movesets. And their hidden abilities, because hidden abilities are probably going to be clutch. Like, um, for instance, oh my god, what is his name? Chestnut's hidden ability was um, Bulletproof, Mm -hmm. which ball and bomb type moves would not affect it. So Sludge Bomb wasn't effective, which is super effective against his poison. Shadow Ball wouldn't hit him. So all those ball type things and everything that was pretty creative... Yeah. Greninja's hidden ability, which was protein. Well, not protein. What was it called? It was something around the lines of protein. Whatever. it, Whatever move it uses, it became that type, which was, you never, was, was, was very useful. It wasn't predictable. You know, it was rather water, dark, or I could use grass, or hidden power ice, which became normal, or I could learn, um, it could become rock, you know, or Ghost with Shadow Sneak. Oh, my God. And then... Um, what's his name? Litton's... He's in Smash Bros. What's his name? You just said his name. Oh, you, uh, you're you going with the wrong Incineroar. generation, though. Incineroar. You're going I, know, with the... I, know, I know, but Incineroar, his hidden abilities Intimidate. Yeah. Which was very useful. I can't think... And then, But Intimidate's a very common one. It's a common nowadays. one, but it's still useful. It is. You running in... And, because like he, lowering your your enemy's attack, yeah, right off the bat, yeah, it's it's definitely useful. So I'm gonna wait to see. Hopefully, it's not something dumb for all of them, because they're singular typing. So if they're singular typing, that means that their hidden abilities have to do something to make up for it. Oh, that means I'm gonna have two pure fire types on my team. Yep, I'm bringing a rock type. We're done. <laughs> <laughs> I'm setting I up rocks. I just thought about that. I'm setting up rocks and, and I'm that's done. That's okay. I'm gonna have a steel dark type too. Oh yeah, huh? That'd be pretty cool. Take your rocks and bounce them right off me. That'd be cool. Yeah, but I'm not gonna say they suck. But as soon as I see they have weak thing, I'm going to say they suck. I'm not going to hold back. I mean, I, I'm, I'm going to use them and I'm going to play them, but I'm going to be like, dude, there's so much, like, lost potential there yeah. with all that, with the starters. But I know a lot of people are, like, switching ship. And I know a lot of people, like, Sable fans. Some people are standing with them. Oh, some when, they are, saw, when they saw the final evolution dude, of Sable, Twitter, there were so many people jump ship big yeah, time. A lot of people didn't like it. <laughs> Yeah. Sobel Squad was dead. Now, now I want to know, I want to know how, how fast we're going to know what we can use to breed with, because I know we don't really, um, unless it's in the strategy guide, but that doesn't even come out to the 22nd, yeah. so we're kind of clueless until people yeah, paste it together. Yeah, it's a week later. The way I did it, 
when I in, in Sunny Moon is that if it was a dragon type, I threw it in with another dragon type, <laughs> and then I was like, okay, that'll work. That's what I'm probably gonna have to do, and then see if the daycare is like, oh, they love each other, then I let them breed and breed and breed. Yeah. I also like how we don't have to do that with egg moves no more. So if there's an egg move on a Pokemon you have previously, if we can transfer it over to Pokemon Bank, the Pokemon Home, I'm sorry, to Sunny Moon. Dang, I told you I was going to say it. Sword and Shield. <laughs> <laughs> um, we could just click on the Pokemon, see the if it's in the same species. So in the, in the trailer it showed um, a Sylveon. If you have another Sylveon, and they, one of them has an egg move, you could just pass it on just like that, which is easier. Yeah. It's accommodating for a lot of people so they can play, you know, they can get the best Pokemon and stuff they can. It's Like I, like I mentioned in the video, I was like, I was trying to teach you already, but it's kind of complicated, but now yeah. it's kind of like easier now because like, it's easier for new people to come in and that's bringing other people to be like, Hey, like it's I not that hard. I remember you no trying more. to teach me how to breed in X and Y. And that was yeah. just, that was just so complicated. Yeah, it's hard. It's like, it's hard if you haven't done it before. It takes it's, forever. It's time consuming. Like even train, even leveling up now is not bad. Cause you have EXP candy, which I'd even talk about in the video. So now yeah. you have EXP candy and you don't even have to train. You can just give one, one give like 30, 30,000 XP. Oh my. Yeah. The, the biggest one. So you could just do that instead of like leveling up Pokemon, which is e so much easier for everybody. I wonder if the I wonder if the um since they're the only starters now except for Charizard, I wonder if the um oh sorry the new starters are gonna have uh, Gigantamax forms. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know either. That wasn't one of the part of the things that was leaked. Yeah, I didn't see it. Well, now now we're at the point where that that person who has it, the whole thing is shut down. So. Yeah, there could be more that we didn't get to yeah, see. Yeah, we didn't get to see. So yeah. we'll have to find out ourselves in about a week. Yeah, a couple of days. Man, I'm glad I had a day off from work. I'm, this is coming Monday. I just have to wait now. Yep. Is there anything else we need to talk about? Robert? No, I think we covered as much as we could. As much as we can without going into spoilers. Yeah, or yeah we definitely don't want to do that. Unique mm -hmm. typing. There are unique typings. There are There's Pokemon. Liter the, literally, the only thing I'm going to do when I put this up online is there going to be a, a picture of the Sword and Shield logo That's on it. there. <laughs> I am not giving anything away. I want you guys to experience this game yourself if you are interested. If you're one of those that still plays red and blue, well, hey, more power to you, but... Don't even pay attention. Yeah. Yeah. You know, if if you're one of those hardliners that says, "Oh, there's nothing after Red and Blue. Well, None dude, of it exists." We could talk about some of the Gigantamax Pokemon that. Well, I mean, yeah, well, you got Meowth who got a Gigantamax. Meowth, you got Pikachu, Pikachu who got a. Uh, oh yeah, you get Eevee because you had Let's Go Eevee. I got yeah, Pikachu. Eevee. Now, see, that's unique because I want to know. Okay, so I actually like the way the Gigantamax Eevee looks. Yeah, it looks like a Super Saiyan. His hair's like up. <laughs> I want to know how... Looks fluffier, too. Now, I want to know, because it says we can get that if we have the save file of Let's Go Eevee or Pikachu. So, does that mean... Because someone brought this up in a video i seen. I think it was Shofu. I'm one of the people I watched. So, do we get a Pikachu that can Dynamax into that? Because they said that Pikachu and that Eevee can't evolve. So when they say that, so are we getting that same Pikachu and Eevee from our save file and transferring it over? Probably. I mean, no. If they, because if they can't, have, if they're not going to evolve, well, th that's fine mm -hmm. because they're not evolved. In it, it, Dynamaxing is not evolving. It's just yeah. a special skill. No, no. If if they give us that Pikachu and that Eevee from that game, you got to remember that Eevee and Pikachu are beefed up, super beefed up. Yeah. Because they and they won't. I mean, if it's if it's actually them, you know, like at level wise too. To come, yeah, their stats have to come with. They're it. They're not going to listen to us right away. Yeah, they're not. So that's why I want to know: is it going to be them or is it going to lock? Because they said they they um they can't evolve, so that has to mean because ours can't evolve in the game, huh? Yeah. No. And let's go. Yeah, they can't evolve. No, no matter how much you, you, the more you try, the more angrier you make them. Yeah, because our Pokemon are the those Pikachu and that Eevee are kind of broken in stat wise. Yeah, because of all the different moves they can learn. Yeah, all they can move, and then just the buff they got in general. Yeah, and speed and because there's no the um I mean outside of maybe Pikachu, there's no good reason, um, an Eevee should be that strong against all these Pokemon. Yeah. 
You know, it's, it, it they definitely made these made them specially for yeah, that cause, game. Because the Meowth we get as a mystery gift. Yeah. For free. So I don't know how that how we're gonna work. And then I know um Gigantamax Pokemon we've seen is um is um Garbodor, as you've seen. It's like I told you, it's just like it look it looks like a big old kaiju. It's like has like has um that'd be cool boats if, uh, and stuff if Tyranitar on. can uh Oh yeah, that'd be so can cool. Gigantamax into like a Godzilla. Yeah, that would be <laughs> cool. Because I'm sure we haven't seen all of the Pokemon that can Dynamax well, I don't think and Gigantamax. So we, well, we seen uh, they showed the Lapras in the, yeah. uh, in, the, in the in one of the leagues. but I'm sure there's I'm sure there's so many other Pokemon that can do it. Now I guarantee you, not every Pokemon is going to be able to do it. Yeah, yeah, obviously not every Pokemon. They like oh that would just be too much. We seen Charizard, we seen Butterfree, the Eevee, the Pikachu, the and of Champ, course the Champ got one. And of course, we can only Gigantam or Dynamax and Gigantamax once a duel or once a battle, correct? Yes. With only one Pokemon. Yes. So it's similar to uh, Mega Evolution. Yeah. So so Machamp has one, a Gigantamax. Kingler has one. Ooh. Manuel seen Kingler at work and he like flipped out. He was like, Kingler has a Gigantamax. Nice. And I was like, it was like, yeah, dude, Lapras. Now every every Pokemon that has a Gigantamax, do they also have a Dynamax? Yeah, Gigantamax is um is the further form, right? Yeah, the further one where they change completely, like okay. form, like. So yeah. Dynamax is just them getting bigger. Yes, same Pokemon bigger. Like for instance, like um the Kingler, he has his claw has teeth on it now, and he has like a uh, his bubbles that he spits out has a mustache and everything. Yeah. And we also we also did get a little bit of a, a video clip of the the animation of what happens when you go to catch a Dynamax or Gigantamax oh, yeah, Pokemon. Yeah, it, throws it actually Dynamaxes the, the freaking Pokeball. Pokeball and you throw that. Yeah, and a lot of people like I heard someone say that they're holograms, but I don't know, but because when that ball hit the ground it went boom. <laughs> So I don't know what. But I mean, if it's all if it's seeing. all hologram, like if it's all inside of a, a virtual reality thing, then yeah, I guess that could be. Yeah, Corviknight has one. Uh, Creamy has one. Dreadnought has one. Um, that new Pokemon that uh, there's a new Pokemon called Had Hadarini, or I don't know how you call it. It has a it has a Gigantamax. Colossal has one. Grim Snarl has one, which is the impotent final Evo. Centiscorch, which is this, a new Pokemon we didn't get to talk about. Yeah, it's a centipede, which is fire bug. It has a Gigantamax form, and Applin has one. And you know what? Applin has one. That's the one I told you becomes like flying dragon grass with you. I mean, they're dragon grass in both of them, but yours is like a flying one, and mine's is like the fat one. Yeah. So that's not what Gigantamax. Applin, the first one we get, the first stage Gigantamax is. And we don't have a, a good picture of it, but it looks like the apple is there in a snake. It looks like a snake's head coming out with a tail coming out the back. So, I don't know what really? this Pokemon is. But, yeah, but those are all the only ones we've seen so far. We yeah. don't, it's not confirmed that these are the only ones. I'm pretty sure there are more. Just because, like, this is... Well, and there's like, Charizard, too. Well, yeah, Charizard, because there's only we one, two, three, that four, five, five, six. There's only eight new Pokemon that have Gigantamax, and the rest are old ones. So I'm pretty sure, I'm going to say like, I'm probably going to say, I'm gonna say like, I'm going to just risk it all and say there's probably like six more. Because if we count the starters, I'm pretty sure the starters get something. But yeah. All right. Well, I think we should probably wrap this one up. We've talked about pretty much everything we can. Yeah. There's a, just give it a shot, guys. It's not. It's going to be a great game. I guarantee yeah. it. Let us know. Are you guys planning on getting the game? Um, if so, who's your starter? Yeah. Who's who do you want on your team right away? Who's what starter are you picking? And what Pokemon on this Pokedex did you think was dumb but actually ended up pretty good? Yeah. Who are you disappointed? To not see in the game, and who are you happy to see in the game? Yeah, dude, I'm disappointed as hell. Lickitung's not in the game. I already told you guys <laughs> I have a shiny six IV, perfect Lickitung with the ability I want. I can't do anything with it. <laughs> it's just gonna sit there now. But otherwise, 
Thank you guys for joining us. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. We love y'all. Mm -hmm. Have a great day. Enjoy the game. Yep. And until the next one. Enjoy this video because we will not have another one because we are even playing this game next time. <laughs> next time you hear us, by the way, next time you hear it, we're going to talk about the game itself in whole. Yeah, we will do <laughs> we will do a spoiler free discussion. Or yeah. at least as much as we can, spoiler free. Yeah. Well, by the time we beat this game, we should be, it should be okay. Yeah. So maybe not spoiler free. Yeah. <laughs> but anyways, thanks again for watching, guys. Until the next one, we'll see you later. Bye.